Hey everyone, welcome back. Glad to see you again this week. This month I have it on my heart to continue a little bit looking at Jesus revealing himself. Because we know he reveals himself in several different contexts of life. But what I'd like to underline is that the more you know him, the more you're able to detect how he reveals himself in you, for you, and through you. So today's subject is seeing how Jesus reveals himself in the house of the Lord. Now you probably remember one of the earliest accounts of Jesus' visit to the temple in Jerusalem was quite radical because when he got there and he saw all the money changers' tables, he was very zealous for the house of God and he began to overturn those tables and send off those sellers because they were corrupting the whole reason of bringing sacrifices to the Lord in the temple. Now, that's not to say we don't have to have, or we're not allowed to have a book table in our church, but we need to be more and more aware of how Jesus considers the house of God. It is a place of reverence for him. It is his father's house. And he comes often to purify. That doesn't mean we go to the house of God with a heart that is judgmental. The best way to purify the house of God, my friends, is to purify yourself. You look at your own heart. You seek the Lord about how to walk in greater sanctification and greater holiness. And then you can see Jesus revealed to a greater measure in his house when you're with your brothers and sisters. A little bit further on, after that event in the temple, we come to Matthew 21, verse 23. And the Bible says that when he entered the temple, the chief priests and the elders came up and challenged him because he was teaching and they wanted to know by what authority he was teaching. Now this gives us a key. Wherever Jesus manifested himself in the temple, he manifested his authority. When we come to the house of God, we should fully anticipate that. We should expect him to speak with authority. It's more than just confidence. It's an understanding of his identity and his right to rule as Lord in our lives. Jesus always acts with authority in his house. So my question to you today is, what do you do to embrace his authority, his lordship in every area of your life? If we continue in Matthew, we discover as well that it was in the house of the Lord that Jesus prophesied over his city. You can read about this in Matthew 23, 37 to 39, where he returns to Jerusalem and cries out, Jerusalem, this is the city that kills the prophets and stones those who come from God. I would have loved to gather you as a chick, as a hen gathers her chicks, but your house will be left desolate. You see, in the house of the Lord, which represents family of God, covenant community, is where the prophetic voice of the Lord comes forth for a city. It's in his prophetic words that Jesus not only revealed his heart for the city, but he also revealed the future and he exposed the condition of the hearts of the people. And this is something we can also anticipate when we come to the house of the Lord, because this is one way that Jesus reveals himself when we're gathered together. After that, the disciples took him outside and showed him all the wondrous works of the temple, admiring the craftsmanship and the architecture. But you know what? He said to them, there will come a time when not one stone will be left upon another because he already knew that the destruction of Jerusalem and its temple would be happening in the future. What does this speak to us about? We should be admiring the works of God more than the works of men. This is very much on the heart of the Lord. And when it comes to the house of God, the church of God, the family of God, this is also foremost in his heart to not be so concerned about what we do for God but more so what God can do through us. So, as you see, Jesus prophesied in the house of the Lord. But you know what? He goes out to seek the lost. He didn't bring people to the house of the Lord to reveal himself as savior. He went evangelizing beyond the walls of the temple. And that speaks to us in our generation, for it is time for us to reveal Jesus wherever we go, within the house of the Lord, 
and beyond its four walls. So let me challenge you this year. Look for ways to allow Jesus to speak prophetically within the house of the Lord and keep your heart sensitive to the way he wants to reach souls beyond the four walls of the church. And on that note, I'll say see you next week and I hope to hear from you.